Hello, my name is Bridget, and I'm from Michigan. In November of 1993, at the age of 17 and a junior in high school, I became pregnant. When I told my then boyfriend, his immediate response was, you can't have it, you need to get rid of it. So terrified and concerned about the opinions of others and feeling very alone with no support, I made the choice to abort the 11 or 11 and a half week old baby in my womb, my baby. As they came, as they began to give me the anesthesia, I wanted to say stop and forget it that I had changed my mind, but the words didn't come out. I woke up to the nurse holding my hand, trying to offer me comfort. She told me it was all over and that I did a great and that now I could move on with my life. I opened my eyes, I looked at her and said, I killed my baby. I laid there in tears because of what I had just done. I hated myself for it. The aftermath of my choice included an inability to trust, and I suffer from anxiety, and I struggle to connect and be fully present with those closest to me. I was angry and operated out of fear. That anger and fear bled on to my relationship with my children and my husband, and I know that ultimately that it contributed to the downfall of my marriage. I wasn't able to be what they needed me to be, a good wife and mother. I found hope, help, and forgiveness when a family friend, who also happened to be a psychiatrist, gave me a copy of a wonderful book called Save One. She also encouraged me to go to a Rachel's Vineyard retreat. At the retreat, I found God's mercy and forgiveness. And the second time I went, I was able to forgive myself. We got to name our babies, we wrote them letters, and held a memorial service to celebrate their short lives. I know my daughter, whom I named Mary Miles, is now in the arms of Jesus, and I will see her again one day. And this is why I am silent no more.